crystal or tablet testing. If the crystal or rock that you want to test is too big to break or too hard to break, then you can use the surface test. Right, going on to our crystal or tablet testing. Here you have crystals and the tablet. What you need to do is cut the tablet, open the collection tube, place a quarter of a tablet or a crystal into the collection tube and make sure it falls through the strainer hole to the bottom of the tube. Unscrew the lid of the universal buffer fluid and empty the contents into the collection tube that contains the tablet or crystal. Close the lid of the collection tube and shake up for a few seconds. Then you will put your test device on a flat surface and drop three drops into each well. Make sure that no air bubbles are trapped. Wait 10 minutes for the results to show, but no longer than 20 minutes before you read the results. I will show you what a positive, a negative and an invalid test looks like. Although there are lines appearing at the substances, there are no lines at the control area, which makes this invalid. The second test is an example of a negative test. You see lines appearing at the control area, as well as lines at the substance area. This is an example of a positive test. There will be a control line appearing in the control area, but no line appearing at PCP and amphetamines, making it a positive test for PCP and amphetamine. You will, however, see a ghost line at cocaine, making cocaine a negative test. 